Hello guys, Mambo VP. Naitwa Crian, karibu kwa FXB University Channel. In today's video, tutaona wiki la analysis ya pairs mbili, one of them kiwa ni GBP JPY and USCHF. Pia the one enough to fanya market recap ya pairs ambapo tuliziona last week. No last week, the previous video ambayo ilikuwa ni GBP, JPY and AUDST. GBP JPY the love the pair. Bye. We may see all these pairs and see some of the opportunity about the Tunazo. Kwa GPJPY last session ya mbotu lifan, tukotu na predict buying opportunities at a certain level. Then after, we tuone uh, selling opportunities ya mbotu pia tuliona. GPJPY dropped massively and we gained a lot of opportunities and that one day. But the good thing is, the good thing is, I'm not a financial advisor. Anything that you see kwa hii video is just for entertainment purposes and for education purposes only. Kabla uja riski pesa yako, at least you seek for the financial advice anywhere you wish. I'm not a financial advisor. But let's see the quote of the day. Quote of the day is wanna give out kukuelimisha au kukupa a general view how this market au kwa hii industry vila mbapo ipo. And so, let's see the quote of the day. Quote of the day is say that if you are afraid of losing money, reduce your risk. And if you are afraid of, ri of risk, think in probabilities. And if you are afraid of missing out, backtest your system. Fear is just an illusion. What does this quote tell, tell us about? If you are afraid of, of, of what? Of losing. At least, uh, reduce your risk. Unajua uh, the most of traders, most of traders, not me, no anyone else, Always what na kuga tuna ugopa Kuna na ugopa kupoteza pesa Ate resti punguza risk yako Kwa sababu the more risk kiyopo ni kubwa And the fear also increases Fear pia na kuwa ni kubwa Kupindukia Mbo yeneze kakufanya Ukaenda against him Maybe you are trades Yau kanza kuwa na ile fear of losing money Okay So instead If you are afraid of losing money Let use your risk And if you are afraid of risk now If you are afraid of risk Think in terms of probabilities. You should have in terms of probabilities. That you mean that in a in a manisha kumba, you think of of where the market will break or go into a direction. Am I going to a direction? So when thinking probabilities, no teza fikiria kumbo. Okay, so I need to risk it this small so that when I lose, I will not lose the whole capital. So you can also predict that. If you are afraid of missing out, back testing. Maanigi back testing ni mosti underrated uh, thing when you trading da sasa kwa new base back testing manake una una test trading system yako sema mbona utakuwa unafanya entries like buy and selling the market but remember if you do kama hujafanya back testing which means hauamini tena ile system yako but when you back test unakuwa unaelewa kabisa system yako kwamba ikifika hapa me have to do this ikifika hapa i have to do this and all this back testing tunafanyia kwenye uh, trading platform ambayo ni trading view kama hauna trading view account nimekuachia link kwenye description below nenda usign up by the way kwa sababu natumia premium uh, uh, trading view platform ukisign up kupitia my referral link utapata dola 30 ama coins 30 ambayo unaweza kutumia kwa kulipia premium same too fear is just an erosion fear is just an erosion always kwa sababu Fear inanza na vila mbapu na ugopa wae kumbu utapoteza mtaji wako. But you manage, if you manage risk, fear will always be controlled. How do you see this quote of the day? Maybe help to you. So let's jump into the chat and see what opportunities yamba zutukonazo this week. You know the vibe guys, you know the vibe. So let's jump into it. Oh, so let's see kwa his pairs yamba zo, we have to discuss them and see vila mbapu neza katupa opportunity on the coming week. Remember, this is the weekly analysis and the actual leak up. But leak up, tuneza tukagusia sana pairs ya ambazo nilizi trade, au ambazo tulizi trade na, na elite members. But the actual pairs ya ambazo tukaponazo this week ya ambazo zili play out, one of them ilikuwa ni USCHF, ambazo pia tutai discuss on the coming video. And pia tulikuwa pona hii nyingine, ambazo ilikuwa ni GBP, JPY, but GBP JPY to discuss vizuri last time ambo tulikuwa na hizi buying opportunities kambia the moment ikifika level front we may see the other simple drop uh, but also tulikuwa na audio ST audio ST pia niluwapa isi uh, review last video ambo tulitegemea kabisa kwamba ikifika the level front then ukapata hii anticipation ambo pia ilikuwa na share ilikuwa na hii kama head and shoulders ukawana tulipata hii impasse collection impasse 
and then hii ilikuwa ni kama impas the equation then boom ukapata a simple dropper ambao wengi pia mlinitumia feedback kwenye Instagram uh, DM I also not not that also wengine mlitumia kwa Telegram thank you guys for following always come on this video as na kwa make sense kwako at least hit the like button uh, ama subscribe ama share pia inakuwa na encourage sana kuendelea kutengeneza video kama hizi so let's see nitaanza na GBP JPY but GBP JPY I mean uh, search a fresh pay kwa sababu sin kalibu analysis ambazo zitalisha zifanya let me remove all these drawings so let's view GBP JPY vile ambavyo ipo since tuanze kwenye hard time frame kama kuona how what we have so let's start kwenye weekly kwenye weekly what do we see this a weekly analysis au weekly view Nazo kaona GBP JPY tulikuwa hapo na hii strong strong push ambayo ilitokea huku chini you can see this was all way up you see from here ambayo ilikuwa ni kama inverse then correction when bond kapata hii strong strong push but this strong push it fell to break the level which means kwamba hii ndo ilikuwa a previous high ambayo previous high ika tukapata hii strong strong push ambayo hii hapa so this was the previous high and this was the previous row so kwa sababu tulikuwa na hii strong strong push hatukuwa na opportunities za kusema kwamba hii uh, ambayo ilikuwa ni uptrend tunaweza tukaireverse hapa kwa sababu hii ndio ilikuwa a uh, previous high kwa sababu kwenye daily ilikuwa inatuoneshia kitu kama hiki you can see this is a daily technical uh, technical view which means tulikuwa na hii strong strong uh, high ambo the previous high kwa sababu hii ilikuwa ya why kuwa breakdown so which means this is our first high ambo tumeona kule kwenye hard frame we can also see the other row ambo ndo hii hapa you can see now kwa sababu hizi ndo our uh, view kwenye hard time frame ambo ni weekly kule tumeona hii ndo ilikuwa strong push ambo pia ilitoneshia kitu kama hiki which means the impasse in collection kwa maana ni continuation uh, structure means you also have this you can see ambo tulifanyia review i remember last time ikambia if we see this and see this one we may see the other push or way up akisha una refer the previous video ambo tuli onea the actual market view ya hii kitu ambo kwenye lower lower time frame unakumbuka kama tuli ona hii anticipation ya hii demand level au liquidity level ambo tukapata a strong strong push up by line now kwa sababu hii ndio ilikuwa rusty dash ambo which means we have to predict to see vile ambapo market itakuja kuwa basing on the on the coming week kwa sababu hapa tayari tushapata kitu kama hichi na where is our previous year our previous year is this one this was our previous high ambo ilikuwa ni kama resistance natamani kujifunza forex trading uh, farm wapi utanzia Join the Elite community kupitia website yetu www.fsbuniversity. Unaweza kujifunza trading right in your phone and in your laptop. All you need is internet connection. Unaweza kujifunza na trading. And when you join right now, unapata extra 60 months of mentorship. Unakuwa under eyes, unaweza ku access community yetu, unaweza ku access course yako right in your phone. What are you waiting for? Join the community. Nimekuachia link down below join the fxb elite community see you the course then market ka breakout and the breakout pia inatonishia clearly kwamba this level ilikuwa ni strong ndo uh, reason behind tukapata a strong strong push a uh, strong push ilikuwa inashilia kwamba is for breaking this level ambayo ilikuwa ni resistance level and tukapata hizi three consecutive uh, uh, consecutive candles you can see and right now tukapata hichi kitu ambao ni kama reverse kendo au washilia kwamba buyers and sellers are now uh, entering into the market significantly kiangalia hii kwa sababu ndio ilikuwa previous candle formation you also have this one ambao ni ambao tuna expect now expectation ya hii ni ku drop if possibly to test around this level kabla ya kupata the other pullback we may see the other pullback kabla ya kutesti level but i don't think so kwa sababu hii kando tayari ni strong 
na kama itafanya pullback at least itafanya pullback kuishia eneo fulani hapa kama simple collection if it happens because I, I can't predict in a simple way kwamba itafanya pullback mpaka around this level but what i can see we have to see gbp jpy even testing around this level here before going further up, down if not around this level ambo ndo itakuwa the other anticipation uh, we can't always uh, predict how vile market inaweza ka ika reverse cause even prediction ya hii kwamba itatapo hapa we have to be sure kwamba itafanya rebounds maeneo fulani based on what is going to happen around here so kwenye lower time frame zaidi Melbourne ingaya kwenye 8 hours now kwenye 8 hours unaweza kuona kitu kama hichi hizi bucket prediction ambazo tunaziona this what i expect before even bouncing around this level ambapo ndo unaweza kuona ndo rusty demand level ambayo ilipokuwa ambayo tumesema pia ilikuwa ni uh, kama resistance level which means na bidije kuwa kama the are the support level even before breaking this level we have to see a strong strong rejection market rejection around this level before further upside uh, the push up okay but pia inaweza ingia na fundamentals reaction of a market movement this is in kwa side ya gbp jpy but let's see kwa audst kabla ya kuziona hizi pairs ambazo niwakwambia naweza tuka predict this is aud usd now aud usd tuliona nini last time aud usd tuliona hichi kitu ambacho by the way hapa ni kwenye 8 hours right now tuko na hii kitu let me draw it out last time tuliona hiki ambayo tulikuwa na impasse tuka predict e correction around this level kwenye previous video ambayo tuliona then tuka predict further up trend move uh, ambayo ilitokea il kabisa na hizi ilikuwa ni kama pfc 200 which means we also saw this ambayo ilikuwa inatupa prediction ya selling opportunities ambayo ikatupa hizi selling opportunities so what do we see kwa next week Kwa next week maybe uh, let me choose the fresh pair how do you think so this is how do uh, the fresh pair let me draw it out kwenye time frame let's start kwenye weekly and see vile weekly hapo for hapo so this is a weekly analysis guys a uh, technical view unaweza kaona last time tulikuwa na hii row ambao hii low almost market managed to break uh, creating the new row this was this was the new row and then tukapata kitu kama hichi ambayo ilikuwa ni kama the high but this high in respect kuanzia huku which means tuna hii high ambo hii pia imeshindwa ku break. So what do we see kwa hii coming way? I would see uh let me see when you have time frame and the other time frame the monthly time frame. Now in a monthly time frame I can see we also have the uh, actual drop mpaka around this level. Kwa sababu hii ndo a uh, previous low ambo imekuwa respected since way back despite the fact kwamba shindo zone yetu ambayo inatoa inashilia kwamba this was an uptrend ili kwa ni uptrend kwa sababu tulikuwa na his strong strong downtrend and tukapata his strong strong up push hii inaweza kama correction so correction kwa maana ya continuation channel ambo one day yes i don't know when but one day yes tutakuja kuona the other push up tupate kitu kama hichi maana yake tupate kitu kingine kama hiki hapa juu but for prediction right now in this coming week kwa sababu tile tuko na US dollar is almost strong let's see kwenye weekly in a weekly we have this this is in a weekly now kwa sababu in a weekly tuna hii uh, market rejection now kwa sababu hii level is strong Plus, you will never break this level before anticipating the other strong level as of this one. How uh, strong is the idea of the collective momentum? 
and the, that level may be this level around here even tapping uh, for quite here we can go in a close and he are as uh, powerful candle kwa shida kwamba kuna more sellers in this move which means the other kind of formation ambayo itakuwa formed uh, kwa hii coming week inabidi tuone either ni stronger as of this one au ina reject ina ina reject level ndio inaweza tukasema okay right now tunaweza kuangalia sell i mean buying opportunities but for this we have to look for selling opportunities until until the certain level but you have to look forward to uh, kuwa aware kwamba whenever ukiepo unafanya analysis au ukiwa unafanya entries za ku sell kwenye audio st we be looking for buying opportunities uh, around either within this region kuashilia kwamba whenever he kind of formation ambayo itakuwa formed hapa kwenye weekly bila ambapo itakuwa na bf but i would i would suggest niangalie kwenye daily bila uh, bila kuangalia kwenye weekly kwa sababu weekly always kabla ya form tayari kwenye daily inakuisha kuonyesha what's happening but kwenye high time frame kama weekly inawezeka kuonyesha baadaye wakati kitu inakuwa ishatokea i would offer of way to see price movement vile ambayo itakuwa formed within this region within this region okay this what I, how i can see kwenye audio c and this prediction may be quite difficult or kind tricky kwa hata ambao watakuwa bwana z trade is pairs okay so this is audio c and the usdchf let's see usdchf now usdchf kuanzia kwenye weekly tuliona buying opportunities ambao pia tulizi predict uh, kwenye previous video ambao tuliona uh, dxy kuashilia kwamba market is likely to uh, to reverse ama kuendelea na buying opportunities kwa sababu ya strongness ya usd usd became strong hata ukiangalia kwenye other platforms ambazo tunaweza tukaona inflation and all that but right now tunaweza tuka predict uh, strong ama strength ya kubai mpaka down this level kwa sababu ni weekly unaweza kuangalia pia monthly vile ambavyo market inaweza vile ambavyo ipo now kwenye monthly tupo na hii hii ndio previous level ambo market ni tab and kwa sababu monthly baada tuja close hii kind of formation tuweza ka predict kwenye weekly how vile market ambayo itakuwa na pray out we also have this strong candle kind of formation so which means tayari watu ambao walikuwa wa mebuy as me tayari tuja toka kwenye so kwenye market now we may see a simple retest around this level and even market pushing higher until this level sa so, kabla ya kuangalia opportunity za kuingia baada ya kutab hii previous high unaweza kuangalia price action ya kind of formation ambayo itakuwa formed around this level and kwenye lower lower time frame unaweza ka wala ambao watu wanapenda kuscalp for short ama kuangalia buying opportunities ama selling opportunities uh, pc 50 msini au pc 30 unaweza ka base kwa kuangalia hizi continuation patterns that's all but kwenye lower lower time frame unaweza kaona the actual trend bila ambao price ilikuwa ina respect this level whatever price created this low manake inakupa buying opportunities until market ina change this move inabidi tuone inaanza ku break its previous lows ili tuanze kuangalia opportunities za kubai okay so this is it i don't know what's you on your side but for the coming week i will be also be updating kwenye spaces if you follow me kwenye uh, youtube ama twitter uh, i mean kwenye instagram pia nitakuwa na share how this market plays out so and let's have a nice week and a productive one thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe